I'm currently fixing this fan. Obviously, I want to turn the lights on so you can see it. This fan was stalling, so I'm going to repair it. Normally, I don't post a video at all about it, but, you know, this is a special one. And I've already taken the bottom, as you can see, everything off. I'm now going to open this goddamn thing up. And yes, you're going to have to deal with a long video, obviously. Oh, this forgot to take that off because it's going to get in the way. You know, to get these screws out. Okay. Wish the case stand was more stable, but whatever. Okay. Now what? I'm going to put the magnet over here. I'm going to get a better magnet. Give me a moment. Okay, this is even better. Good old hard drive magnet. And I'll stick it on the fan here. That's where I can keep all my screws in place. That way I don't lose any. Which is a smart thing to do. Okay. There we are. Let me get this undone now. You know what? I'm going to get my ratcheting screwdriver. This will speed up the process completely. Oh, yeah. Oh, keep this for uh, getting the screws in uh, temporarily the other way. Okay. I'm not using the fucking driller power driver because I'd lose the screws. Ah, oh, there we are. Okay, that one's out. Screwdriver will actually be handy at pulling it out because it's magnetic. It's out. Next, on the bottom. Okay. Next, one left, one more to go. Okay. Okay. That's done. Now. Okay, I gotta get my flathead. Okay, this body has been for a whole lot of shit. It's been burnt, it's been used to pierce holes in anything, anything plastic, and it actually is useful for taking the tabs off this. So, I just gotta pop the tabs off, and this thing comes off like nothing. Ah, that's how it is. Okay. Now it goes on. Oh. That thing flew the coop. One of the tabs broke on it. Oh well. And that broke, obviously. It's not a problem. Half of the fans I fix, the tabs don't break, but plastic doesn't usually get a longer win in these kind of situations. There we are. Put that there. School on the back, which is good. This is fucking shameful. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this piece off. Okay. Oh, this is pitiful. This is pitiful. Okay, I got it. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Screwdriver didn't want any part of it. 
That's understandable. There we are. Rest assured, this fan's going to be donated right after I fix it. Now it needs oil, correct? I gotta take this off now. Nope. Now I cannot use a ratcheting one. I have to now do this myself. Like loosening the screws and the nuts. Okay, that's one. And the nut, I'm gonna put them together so I don't lose them. Good idea, right? Precisely. That's on the magnet. Because if you lose the nuts, you're screwed. Nice resistor, too. A relay, whatever the fuck, voltage controller. This is a basic fan. It's not one of those digital ones that end up arcing over the bearings and frying everything. Yes, I've actually tried to fix one of those before. No fucking point. Absolutely no point. This is what I do whenever I come across a junk fan. I fix it. Every single time. Almost couldn't even get her open. Okay. If I can, can't get that off. One more lock he got. This thing is good. This thing is real good. Oh, don't want that phone. Okay. Here. One more. Yes, I want to make damn sure I'm not grabbing the wrong one. <sighs> damn, I hate these fucking things. But I do with them. My finger. Ah, now it's came free. Now I can oil it and then put it back together. That's all it takes. Okay. Can we get this little bitch off of there? Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Oh, that's fucked up. That is fucked up. I don't know why they did it that way. They rigged it to break. To support them on, uh, oh wow, well. I actually can't take it off that axis. What the like fuck? That's pathetic. Oh, look at that. It's fucking pathetic. God damn it. Well, what can you do? They intentionally rig it. Make it impossible to say this, but it's not going to stop me. It's seized in there, so I got to put oil in there, you know? Yeah, I know how to do it. Okay. If I got to do it that way, I got to play fucking hardball. I'm going to play fucking hardball. <sighs> That's my oil. You can see the way they did it. Fucking bricks. Uh, I think I'm going to get oil on the floor. Alright. Let that get in. Matt Pearson. Oh my gosh, this thing won't even budge. Not worry too much. A little bit of oil there. Let it penetrate. Oops. Throw that in there. Oh my gosh, this is sticky. Sticky shit. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, I know what to do. This is the only way. I got better grip on it. Once I get this thing moving. Ah. There we are. It has to be moving, right? That's the key, get this bitch moving. Ah. Once I get her moving, she's good to go again. Okay. Okay. Oil on the 
back. Okay, back spine. More on the back spine in the middle. More on that part on the windings. I'm not gonna give a shit. Load this shit with oil. That leak in the catch below. I don't care. You don't care. As long as we get this Care Bear or shithead put back together, that's all I care about. Now, put this here. Ah, she wants to move. Exactly. An arm cover on to hold her in place. Right to tighten. If it even tightens. Oh, left to tighten. It was right to loosen. That's the first thread. Okay. Uh, I can smell something. That's the oil. Obviously, there's no electricity running through this. Okay, turn this around the other way. Oh, man. That's shitty. Oh, that's why. Okay, I know what to do. That oil on the spine the now. Okay, pull that shit apart. Drop it on the spine piece. Yeah. Now, once I assemble this, I shouldn't have a problem. Spine is oiled. Now, let's start getting this shit put together. And I give it a bare ass test run right after. Okay, that's on. Bolt number two. Okay, then this goes. A bare ass test is the only way to make sure this thing works, you know? Is this the way I gotta do it when I repair things? Okay. Holy shit, this thing actually spins like it should. However, I need to fully assemble it before I can actually verify it. And I really flooded this bastard with oil too. So. Penetrating oil is pretty good. It penetrates, it does its job. That's all I care about. Okay, one more to go. Fuck you. Obviously, I got oil on the bottom part because it's actually dripping. I'm probably going to mop a bit up after, but this is done. Okay. 
<sighs> Pull it just to get it freed. Alright, still seized, but. Alright, let's power this little bitch on. And she, she spins. At the risk of. Whoops. At the risk of. Oh my gosh, I whacked it. At the risk of hitting my hand with the tripod or the fan. At the risk of mulling the cake. Oh. Okay. She doesn't want to turn. did turn at one point, now she doesn't want to turn. Turn her off. <sighs> okay, got a bit of a problem with her. So, uh, this sucks cock. Okay, I gotta put oil on the back. Can I go flat it again? I gotta oil the spine directly, so I have to take this off. Tilt the rear head back and get this done. Boy, she's oily. She's a slippery little one. Should really take her off her stand to do this, but whatever. I'm going to slipstream the oil. Now it's actually spinning. Oops. She's actually moving. There we go. She's moving. She's fucking moving. She is now unseized and well oiled. Hello. She's fixed. Now let's reassemble it properly. And there's oil on the floor. Obviously, I got a bit of a mess to clean up. Sorry about the long video, people. Uh, let's see if she can actually open this up. No, she's not going to. She doesn't want to open this up. Okay, she wants to actually tighten it up. I tried that before. It's a quick way to tighten the blade up. Let the fan do the work for you. All right. Monday, we're left with lots of cloud. It's uh, part of the job I normally hate, but I gotta do it. Okay. She's back on. 
This will fall off and put the screw in. Was left seriously injured Monday night. Police said the woman was violently attacked with a large stick without provocation and didn't know her attacker. Okay, that's fixed. Now let's put the screws on the front of this. I'll get the starting. Fuck off. Okay. Here. Oops. Is that even, oh, wow, that wasn't even a line. Well, that would have been funny. Try to line something to get on there. Gotcha. Won't go in. It's also not aligned correctly. Oh, this part of the job I hate. Okay, there we are. I can tighten the rest up with the, uh, once they get it aligned, I can tighten it up. It's pretty straightforward. Ratcheting screwdriver to the rescue afterwards. I'll get the other two screws and put the magnet away. Once you get the first one, you pretty much solve the problem yourself. And then tighten up as simply as just turning something. This is basically how you maintain a fan. Some of them just simply slide off. I've seen a few of those. Okay. I'll put the oil away because I don't need it no more. This fan is now good to go for about five years. Two to five years before it needs oiling and regular maintenance again. Yes, folks, regular maintenance. In case you're curious, this video is also available on brand new tube. Oh, okay, this screw is obviously stripped. I cannot tighten it no more. Oh well, I'm not going to give a shit. Things happen, right? Things get stripped. Not much you can do about that. That one's good. This one. I think it's actually in right, but whatever. I don't think this thing even clipped on. It's probably not even on, but whatever. I'm gonna verify that. Yeah, it wasn't on at all. <laughs> oh well, now it's on. Brute force tight and on. That's all I care about. Okay. Back piece. Put it on the proper way so the handle is upwards is key. Tighten it. Right to tighten as always. But there's increased demand this year as people try to spend more time outside during the pandemic. City staff will put together a report on the cost and timeline for making the eh, available. Done. St. Catherine's, for example, has installed portable washrooms in some parks for the winter. The NHL done. There we are. Let's tighten this up. Or automatically. Done. Very easy. Very easy to tighten up. Let the machine do the work for you. Now for the finger chopper version. Okay, nearly knocked my specs off. Let's get the finger chopper mechanism, uh, prevention mechanism put back on. The cage. Normally these cages can be... Fucking screwdriver. I don't need it no more anyway. Normally these cages can be repurposed as, uh, for other uses. I've used one to put together a wind chime. However, it's pretty easy. These things often get repur repurposed anyway if they don't work. 
or if your fan's completely dead. Now, let's turn it on. It's getting a bit warm in here anyway. And there we go. Repaired, serviced, junk at first, working now. Do a feral test. Speed two. Speed one. Flats off. Speed one. Three. One. Two. Three. Huh? Well, there you have it. I just did a complete repair on a fan that was otherwise junk. Complete fucking junk. Now it's functional and this thing is not junk. Well, except the frail stand. It's, the stand is probably the worst off because, you know, the way they design it. Fan's actually great. Anyways, thanks for watching and enjoy.